Hello everyone and welcome to this Intro to Python course here on Cyberary On Demand. I'm your instructor Joe Perry. I'm going to be taking you all the way through this course. We're going to be working together on it. Um, I'm the director of research here at Cyberary. Just a little bit about me. Uh, I'm fortunate enough that I get to do this sort of work all day, every day. I get to make videos like this, help people build their careers and learn new cybersecurity skills. Uh, my background, I was originally a developer. Uh, I've worked throughout the United States uh, federal government, throughout the DOD, the intelligence community, that sort of thing. I'm a vulnerability uh, analyst, an exploit developer, a security researcher. Basically anything in cybersecurity I've done at least a little bit of. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter if you have any questions about this course or any questions about uh, any of the material at Joseph R. Perry IV. Uh, Crippling Securities is the handle that you can find me under. You can also find me on LinkedIn with that link. Uh, that will also be included as well as uh, my contact information in the supplemental materials for this course. So the prerequisites, what do you need to take this class? Well, first you need a computer. There are people who like to use tablets and uh, phones to watch our videos. If you're gonna participate in the labs though, there are programming labs and it's just much easier to do those on either a laptop or a desktop computer. Uh, some familiarity with the Linux command line is gonna be useful, but it is not mandatory. Um, I recommend it because I'm gonna be using the Linux command line to basically do everything. My text editor is command line, all of that. Uh, so it's gonna be easier for you to keep up with that sort of material if you are familiar with the Linux command line. However, it is not mandatory. You will still be able to follow the programming material without it. And additionally, familiarity with VMs is recommended, but not mandatory. Um, I'm gonna be working in a VM. I'm gonna be using an Ubuntu VM. I'll talk about that in just a minute. If you're gonna work on your bare metal machine, if you wanna work directly on your, your host operating system, totally okay. Um, I prefer not to because I don't like to program on my host machine in case I break something. But for the material we're gonna be covering in this course and the, the program we're gonna be doing here, it is very unlikely that you're gonna damage anything. So what are we here to learn? What is the purpose of this Intro to Python course? Well, we're going to understand Boolean logic and we're going to apply that to the discipline of programming. Now you may not know what Boolean logic is and that's totally fine because that's what you're here to learn. Uh, you're going to understand the design of the Python programming language, the decisions that led to the language existing as it does today. You're going to learn to understand Python statements, you're going to learn to describe the different Python data types, and then you're going to kind of combine those two things and you're going to use them to solve problems. You're going to use Python to solve real problems. We're going to have a bunch of code examples you're going to do. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute in our supplemental materials slide, but there's going to be a lot of actual application of Python in the later parts of this course. And additionally and finally, you're going to identify some useful Python modules. Uh, we're not going to spend a ton of time on Python modules here. That's mostly the focus of the intermediate and the advanced courses, but we are going to spend some amount of time just to get you familiar with modules and understand what they are. So are you in the right place? Is this the class for you? A few questions to help you answer that. Are you new to programming? If yes, you're in the right place. Are you maybe not new to programming, but are new to Python? In which case, yes, you're in the right place again. Uh, are you rusty on either of the above? I actually found when I was making this class and I was building the material that I was actually really rusty on some of the laws of logic and some of the original sort of computer science ideas that you learn when you're learning to program. And building this course actually helped me brush up on a lot of that. So hopefully taking it will help you brush up on your skills as well. And finally, and most importantly, are you excited to learn a new skill? Are you passionate about it? And that's really gonna be key for all of this. That passion, that excitement, that drive is gonna be what carries you, not just on this class, not just on Cyberary, but throughout all of your career and your personal and your professional lives. Excitement and passion are mandatory. So if you said yes to those things, then fantastic. You can keep watching the video and we can keep rolling and I'm happy to have you here. Uh, some supplemental materials, I mentioned this a little bit ago. I'm gonna be using an Ubuntu 64-bit VM. Uh, I'm gonna be working with Vim, Pip, and Terminator. Vim is a text editor. Uh, it's, it's a command line text editor, very, very useful. Pip is a Python package controller, basically an, installing, uh, man an installment manager. Um, and Terminator is just kind of a quality of life upgrade for the Ubuntu or for the Linux command line. It's, it's, it has windows, it has tabs, it just improves the use a little bit. Uh, we have some exercises. We have two labs provided by Next Tech. Uh, we have some lab assignments through that. Next Tech is an absolutely spectacular company. We're very lucky to be partnering with them. You'll be able to, if you're an insider pro, you'll be able to access those labs, get some really, really fantastic hands-on experience with their guiding. They have a little robot that will help you learn to program. They have great tasks built into it that'll be very, very useful. Additionally, if you are not an insider pro, I will be releasing all of the, all of the lab assignments I'll be releasing in PDF form so that you can see what the assignments are. And I will also release uh, some, some sample code, or not some sample code, but the solution code uh, so that you can use that to, to compare against what you've done. We will also have some assessments. So after every lesson and most of the videos, we'll have some uh, periodic knowledge checks. Just a few questions to make sure you got the, the high points and the key material of that video. The videos are generally gonna be about four to nine minutes long, so it's not too terribly hard to 
pay attention for you know four to nine minutes and get that core material. After module one, we're going to have a midterm, and that's going to be uh, again provided by PDF for anybody who who wants to take it. You're going to have access to that as well as an answer key, so that you can make sure that you've got the material you're looking for, and you can just make sure that you're sort of you've kept pace and you've learned what you needed to learn. And if not, you'll know what you need to go back and and study again. Finally, at the end of the course, we're going to do a final assessment, which will be released in exactly the same way. It'll be part of the supplemental materials. That's going to be everything we cover in the course, a couple of coding assignments with some solution code, just everything you could want, everything you could need to make sure that you are exactly where you need to be at the end of this Intro to Python course. So what is the course layout? So we've got two modules. The first module you can see here is going to be eight lessons long. Seven of those, those lessons will be informative lessons, and then the eighth will be a summary and review. Uh, so we're going to start with programming basics. We've got a few different categories of that. We're going to talk about logic. We're going to talk about variables. We're going to talk about if and else statements. We're going to talk about for loops, while loops. Then finally, near the end of the first module, we're going to actually dig into Python itself. You're going to learn the basic syntax of Python. You're going to learn how to make scripts. And then you're going to learn about the Python data type, strings, numbers, all that. And we'll, we'll spend a lot of time on that, as well as all of module two is going to be spent taking all of the things and all of the concepts that we learned here in module one applying them to Python and really deep diving on all of those subjects. So you're going to get very, very familiar with all of that material as well as some other Python specific information.